Thank you, Daddy, for this opportunity. Number one, my question uh -huh. is... When I saw thank you, I knew we are in trouble. <laughs> okay, go ahead, sir. Number one, sir, my question is this. In a situation whereby you are dating a girl, and the uh, elder brother said until she finishes school, she, you can't go ahead in marrying her. Then number two, sir, I want to know, like you told us about tribe, like a girl who is attending another, who belongs to another uh, domina, dom, dom, religion, ministry rather. Denomination. Denomination, sir. Thank you, sir. And you have been asking her to come along with you, to come and meet with your spiritual authority. She said she keep postponing it, giving one or two excuses. In this kind of situation, what can one do? Okay, the first one is about brother, right? If a brother says that he wants the sister to finish her education before you marry her, you should need and thank God for delivering you allow them take care of their daughter there are some parents that will tell you you must train her before you marry her so now they are saying that they want to train her they want to give you a graduate they are helping your life so you stay don't just leave everything for them play a supportive role because if you don't commit yourself after a while they will remind you that your one naira was not <laughs> So just play a supportive role. Give her a little pocket money once in a while like that. But make sure you allow them to do their thing. Number two, anybody who has no regard for your spiritual authority has no regard for you. If someone has no regard for your pastor, the person has no regard for you. So you don't even, that's a red flag. That's somebody you can control. You, you can control such a person. So that's a red flag. Step aside and just let the person be. Thank you, sir. Number three. You all right, all right. Thank you so much, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, for that wonderful submission to the question. The, the, the point is, the, the brother here asked some sensitive questions, and uh, um, these are questions that... Actually, I've actually brought a lot of bitterness to people's mind. Um, people are regret for different kind of situations and things that have happened in the past. Here, the guy is asking a question. He asked the question about, okay, the family of the guy said, until she finished school before she can get married to the, to the lady. Now, the question is, there are so many people that they, they really want to, um, they've spent so much money on some ladies. They spend money on them. They've given a lot to them, and at the end, the marriage didn't work. The relationship didn't work, rather. There are so many people that they've invested in some ladies. They've, they've said, okay, I sent her to school from nowhere to this. I gave her the first degree, and at the end of it all, she actually married someone else. That is the problem. A lot of us have committed ourselves too much beyond our capacity we have committed ourselves too much beyond our strength and at the end we don't even know the possible thing that could happen and i love a statement that apostle man said use say play a supporting role to commit yourself to the girl for the man for the family to realize okay this guy here is supporting what we are doing right so allow them to train up the child to their own taste to their own expectation to their own plan before you go ahead. If any family said, don't, hold on, let her finish school. They are helping. Apostle man said it. It is not easy to train up people, to, to send someone to school. Even as a young man that is still struggling, where you can build your vision. When she's going to school, when she's being sent to school, you begin to dig a strong a foundation that will sustain her after. Begin, get yourself occupied. Do business. Invest your money in something bigger. That even while she's in school, she begins to look at what you are doing. She begins to think at what you are doing and say, no, I must not lose this guy. I must not miss this guy. This guy is for me. But if you, the money that you're supposed to plan your future, plan your life, plan your destiny, you want to start, you want to get married and start sending her to school, even, not even first degree. She didn't have first degree. You want to do that. At the end, there's high tendency of frustration at the end. Because if she didn't meet up with some things in the future, you begin to complain. You understand? So to my, to my best of knowledge, if there's anyone in this situation, the best thing is allow the parents, allow the family to send her to school. Why they are sending her to school? That money that you are planning or thinking to, to use to send her to school, build your own vision. Build your own dream. 
Why she's in school? Let us see you growing. Let us see you building destiny. Let us see you building company. Let us see you building things. Even if she wants to divert, even if another person wants to take her away, because she knows that, oh, there's a man somewhere building, building future, she will not let go. So it's, it's a very good advice. I just appreciate God that hey, it is not. The, 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 the family did not say, come and send her to school before you get married to her. They want to send her to school. So Allah. And the second part of the question, which talks about a lady not, not want to commit, come over to the authority over you, spiritual authority over you, it is still the same as I am, I'm, 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 now I'm married, right? And I'm, let's say I, I just met my wife, like when a relationship, like say, after some time, I, I invite her to come and meet my parents, my biological parents. And she did not come. She's not coming. That simply means that she's not even regarding my family. That is the meaning. So if I ask a lady to come and see my spiritual father, my spiritual parents, the authority, spiritual authority over me, and she, she's not coming, it simply means that she's not even committed to me. That means that she's not even willing to go on that journey with me. Because marriage is spiritual. Marriage is not ordinary. There's nothing ordinary about marriage. It is something that it is spiritual. So I must follow spiritual process. I must be guided. There must be there must there, there must be a cover. There must be advice. There must be encouragement. There, mu there must be there must be, there must be words that will channel me to the right path. There are people that they've walked this journey for over ten years. They understand the spiritual path. They understand the emotional path. They understand the financial path. They understand so many things, and they need to put me through. So the 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 the, the spiritual path cannot be over emphasized. Cannot be overrated. Cannot be cannot be underrated. Cannot be. It has to be taken with seriousness. So if he or she is not coming. That simply means that he or she is not ready to go on that journey with you. Let me quickly share a testimony, a story with you before I actually, I actually drop. Some times ago, a brother was in a relationship with a sister. So they, they committed some atrocity together. And then the brother went to his pastor to confess all the wrongs they've done. The pastor was surprised. And the pastor put the brother on punishment because he told him, if I don't punish you, everyone will punish you. So he gave him some punishment for three months to be, to be done. And why is do each time he finished that punishment, each time, each time, he must go, and go on his knees on the altar and ask God for mercy based on what they have done. And then the brother, the pastor told the brother, tell that gay, tell the lady to come and see me. Tell the lady to come and see me because they are of, from two different denominations. Guess what? The lady didn't come. The lady did not go. The lady did not go to see the, the, the special father. Now, this is to settle the future. I heard she wasn't going. She wasn't coming. And guess what? At the end, they didn't even end up getting married together. It, not, not because of that, but God himself did not even bring them together. Right? So what the pastor was trying to do was to guide them on the error they've committed. They've committed the error. They've committed the error. But they need to be guided, right? They need to be controlled. They need to be directed. They need to be instructed. They need to be put to, to the right channel. So come, that is the question. So any brother or sister that refuses to follow, to come over to your spiritual authority is a danger, is, 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 is a wicked person. Can I use that word? And it's, it's very, very dangerous. I mean, yes, that's, that's right word. It's very, very dangerous for the future. And such person, I think we should divert away. Because that is simply saying that my light is not your light, right? My spiritual journey is not a spiritual journey. So for me to come to your spiritual father, your spiritual mother, because we want to get married together, means that I am in line with the spirit that is behind your father is what I'm following. Take for example now, if I'm in relationship, I'm in love with somebody and, okay, so the father is, let's say, a spiritual father is um, a magician or a herbalist, right? And then I'm a Christian and she asked me to come and see her. I won't go. I won't go. Why? Because we are not the same. So if she refused to come, or if he refused to come, it simply means that he also knows that you are not the same. You get it? So that is it. Thank you so much for joining me on this um, video today. If you are watching, if, if you see this video on YouTube, thank you so much. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so you can be notified each time we drop this kind of content. And if it's on Facebook, please follow us, like this video, please share this video. Thank you so much, Papa Apostle John Suleiman, for this wonderful revelation. I'll see you guys in my next video.
Bye.